Hi everybody, Ryan here with NerdTech101. Today we're going to be going over a very requested tutorial on how to jailbreak your second generation Apple TV running 4.4.4. So to do this, there's a few th pieces of equipment we're going to need. First, an Apple TV second generation, the remote that came with it in the box, and a micro USB to USB cable. This does not come in the box and will be a uh, purchase you'll have to do. You can pick it up at your nearest electronic store anywhere from five to ten dollars. All right, now that we've gotten our hardware, we need to get some software. So there's a company called Firecore who makes a free software called Season Pass. Now the Season Pass will currently do a untethered jailbreak. Untethered means you won't need to have it wired for the latest version of 4.4.4. .4. Now, since we're running a Mac here, we're going to go ahead and download this on the Mac, so we will hit Season Pass for Mac. To save some time, we've already downloaded this, so we're going to go ahead and launch it up here. We're going to create an IPSW. This button will go ahead and get the most up-to-date version that the FireCore supports and start the process of making it work with an Apple TV. So we're going to go ahead and launch this here. As you see, it's currently trying to unzip the IPSW. It's patching the RAM disk, patching our file system, Now for you guys following at home, we skipped the download process of the Season Pass. That will take you a few moments, so if you're at the download process now, you may want to come back here in about five minutes to recheck this video. But uh, we skipped it, and we went straight to the actual unzipping of the file. As you see, it's now recreating the IPSW with the new modifications we made to it to allow you to repatch it to your Apple TV. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, will this void my warranty doing this? Well, in all terms of the sense, no. You're not changing any of the hardware. You're not modifying it to damage the unit. So since you're just dealing with software, if you restore the device back to default, you'll be able to go ahead and... Uh, you know, get it back to the Apple defaulted OS. So now you see here, it's waiting for us to connect our Apple TV via USB. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and connect the Apple TV. Alright. Now we have the Apple TV connected. We're going to go ahead and on the original remote, press the two buttons at the bottom just like it shows in the picture for seven seconds you'll see it found the device in DFU mode and now this season pass program the reason we chose it is everything else is automated for you you'll see here that everything we need done is done so we're gonna go ahead and let this run through its process Alright, now it's going to run a pre-made script that will allow you to restore it in iTunes. So you'll see iTunes is opening up. It went ahead and put it in full screen.
it found the path where they stored their file and it's now extracting it. It's going to verify this with Apple. And now it's going to go ahead and start the restore process. Right, we're verifying it again with Apple now. Now we're waiting on our Apple TV. Now you see we're restoring the Apple TV software. All right, now it's actually uploading that software to the Apple TV. All right, we're just about done uploading this file. All right, now it's verifying the Apple TV restore was completely successful. All right, now you'll see that iTunes has told us that our Apple TV has been restored to default settings. We can disconnect the Apple TV from the computer and reconnect it to our TV. So we'll go ahead and hit OK here, and we will connect it to our TV. All right, so as you see here, we've gone ahead gotten our Apple TV connected. Get past our little thing here. Gonna go ahead and connect to our network. Gonna go ahead and not let you see our password. Okay, and go ahead and let it connect here. All right, and as you'll see right there at the bottom is our Firecore symbol showing that we have now a jailbroken Apple TV. So that is how you jailbreak your Apple TV. You'll notice right now the Apple TV is completely the same as it normally is and that we are running 4.4.
All right. Now that we've gotten our Apple TV all jailbroken, feel free to check out some of our other videos on how to install some of the more popular tools like Plex and uh, Nitro TV. All right. Thanks again for watching our tutorials. To find out more information, you go to nerdtech101.com. There'll be a link in our description. You guys have yourself a wonderful night.